What's going on, everybody? You're tuned into another episode of the Music Mastery Podcast with your host, Lizzie the Gifted. Tiny bit of background on this podcast. What I do here is I put out a brand new episode every day. It's all about documenting my journey as an independent musician and hopefully give you guys some lessons along the way. I do a lot of tips and tricks, mindset, motivation, marketing, all that good stuff, right? So I wanna jump straight into this episode and start sharing with you guys mistakes that I've made in my career. And I'm not gonna share every single one of my flaws right now because I have way too many and I don't think I can share them all in one episode. So I'm just gonna kind of, as I think of them throughout the days, I'll make episodes on this flaw, this flaw, this flaw. So I wanna share with you guys one of my flaws and to me, I think this is the biggest flaw that I experienced and I even can't believe I'm admitting that this was a flaw because I used to battle with this myself all the time, okay? So my biggest flaw that I've had in my career is lack of focus. It sounds weird, and it almost is hard to believe if you really watch my journey because I've been I've been doing this. Like I've been going up, 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 up. But the problem is I've I've sway I I've swayed from the original music plan a couple of different times. And um I'm gonna I'm gonna share it with you. So like first seven years of my career, only rapped. Lyrics, vocals, boom. That's all I did, and I was very focused. I was like, I'm not going to produce my own music. I don't need to do that. That's not my job. Stupid to think because I didn't own the rights to my music. It got to that point where I was like, dude, I can't afford to like pay somebody else to own the rights to my music. Meaning I can't afford to keep buying beats. I can't afford to pay for mixing, mastering. I need to do this myself. So graduate college 2017 and I start producing my own music. So now for the last three years, I've been producing my own music. It's been amazing. So the focus for the first seven years was definitely there, but like I wasn't good. Like I got good probably year six year seven I got pretty good like my songs were getting better but like for the first five years I sucked I was like just learning how to freaking sound good um I wasn't any good but for those three years like when I started like here's what happened when I took control of my music like of course for the first year that I was producing I wasn't good again I was trying to make beats didn't know how mixing mastering wasn't good I wasn't any good but year two I was like, all right, I'm starting to get the hang of this mixing mastering thing. I'm putting some music out, sounds pretty good. Now year three, I'm like, oh, I'm definitely feeling like the music that I'm making. And I'm even getting much, much better, but I'm starting to get a lot better at like making music and fully producing it. Here's what happened though. Once I caught the bug of self-sufficiency, meaning like I fully control my music, I had a little bit of, um, I was like, dude, I can do anything. Like I, I just got this surge of confidence where I was like, I can literally do anything. You know what I mean? And and it was um you know, it was good to have that surge of confidence, but it was bad because I started doing things like I learned about affiliate marketing, okay? Shopify drop shipping. I even op I literally opened a little Shopify drop shipping website, started actually doing it. I got one sale, pretty cool. And uh started a social media marketing agency called Prophecy Media. I actually like got the whole LLC going. I actually generated a pretty solid amount of revenue from that, but none of those things had to do with music. When I was doing those things, my reason to do them was I need to hustle and get money, which is true. Like I still believe in that. And if you're doing something like one of those three things or any kind of side hustle, like I believe in it. I can see that that's for the reasoning for that because you need to get that money. But the problem was it was taking my attention away from music. I would spend an entire day, multiple days in a row no music at all, nothing. I, this was even before I started the daily podcast too. I was doing a weekly podcast. So I was very focused on the agent, like the social media agency. I wasn't working on music and I kept saying to myself, don't worry, this is for the music, this is for the music, don't worry, you're gonna get this money, it's for the music. I think what switched it all for me was the pandemic. When COVID hit, I couldn't, like my client's business is closed down. I was like, whoa, like that's crazy. So. I stopped because I was like, dude, I need to do something. And I just kind of refocused. Um, and I feel like if I had just, I mean, I'm glad I did that social media agency because I learned a lot and I built great connections and I'm able to like now say that on like my resume when I talk to you. But at the same time, those, those, all that time and that money that I spent, I look now, I'm like, damn, I could have spent that money and time on just building my music production business and doing what I really wanted to do. You know what I mean? And so like, I know like, I'm gonna be honest with you, like the other reason that I lost focus was because I, I lost faith. That was the real reason I lost focus. The reason I lost focus was because I was like, 
music's not working right now, I'm not making any money, and I need to make money, we need to go figure out something else. So that's the honest truth of why I lost focus. And I honestly think that's why a lot of us lose focus. Like I think a lot of us know that we're capable of achieving our goals, but we lose focus because we're not achieving them right there, right here at this second. Now, you could look back at some of my past content. I don't know if you, I don't know how to find it, but I definitely used to say, "Screw people who say stay focused. You need to do whatever you can to make your money. You need to just, you need to." I used to say that, and like, where I think I, what I, what I now have realized is it's it's uh, it, it's a oh man it's hard to say like I think focus everybody has a different focus like when people say focus I don't know if that necessarily means focus focus as in like focus as in like you only have to do one thing total because like you can't just do one thing when you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to build yourself up, you have to do multiple things. It, it's just how it's gonna go. Let's just say, I'll give you an example. Um, well, let's use your example as you're a rapper, right? Let's use that example. When you're a rapper, like what you're really good at, what you love doing most likely, is you love writing lyrics, you love rapping, you love the feeling of rapping and recording your vocals. That's what you do, right? By the way, I just named three things, but let's just, let's just, you know, for the purpose, let's say, let's lump that all into one thing, rapping. Well, you know what else you have to do though? You know you have to market, right? Like you know you have to do your own marketing. And like, I think one of the biggest issues that people have, and this isn't a flaw of, wasn't ever really a flaw of mine, I'm just sharing it, another issue people have is that like, you think that all you have to do is put out music and somebody else will market for you and like the fact of the matter is that's not how it works at all. It's never gonna work like that. It took me like, I kind of want to say it took me like freaking th probably four years to figure that out. I'd say three years. I mean, I was doing my own marketing from the beginning. I was making physical CDs and handing them out to people. I mean, that counts. I kind of knew like I need to do my own marketing because I didn't have anybody. So I would say actually I figured that out pretty soon, but you have to do marketing. So like now we're talking about the world of marketing. Like that's completely different from the world of music, right? That's completely different. Now we're talking about getting your creativity, like how are you gonna creatively post on social media? How are you gonna come up with a marketing campaign for you know, your songs? I'm not even trying to go down that rabbit hole. My point of what I'm trying to say is like, I understand lack of focus because I've been there and it's like, you kinda of have to know the difference between what does lack of focus mean and what is like doing what you need to do to get it done mean? Those are two different things. Like I had lack of focus, like building a Dropify, sh uh, <laughs> Dropify. Building a Shopify drop shipping store, that has nothing to do with music. Social media marketing does, but not building an agency where I go do it for local businesses. That has nothing to do with music. Affiliate marketing has nothing to do with music. I'm glad that I learned about those things so that I know what's possible and take those things and use them for my music. But like, do you know what I mean? I think it's, I, I think you should learn about those things just to put yourself through the education, but to actually go through and spend the money to like make a store on Shopify and like actually do the affiliate marketing and actually build an LLC like I don't know if you need to do that but watch courses on all those things because I'm telling you all I'm sorry I'm kind of going off I'm gonna come bring it back but the point is all of those different things have different aspects of the digital the internet marketing world that you can use for your music I guarantee you. but my point is I had a lot of times where I lost a lot of focus and even on my day-to-day -day, I've gotten so much better at just staying focused on my day to day because I use a thing called the power list. And my power list, right, I've talked about this, is a productivity system where I just take five to eight critical tasks. I put them right here on my phone, honestly, on my notes app. And I just put things I have to do to get, get the job done. I've started thinking a lot about weekly um, goals, but like for you, like focus is super important. I'm telling you, and, and, and again, we've talked about the reason that we don't that we lose focus is because we lose faith in ourselves. That, that, that's why I lost focus. Maybe you are different, but I know I, that's why I lost focus. And you know, I, I really do believe that if you just stay focused on what you're trying to do, you can achieve your goals. And like, I haven't even closely achieved my goals for what I wanna do, but I've gotten so many accomplishments so far up to this point that I'm looking at, I'm like, wow, that's crazy that I was able to do that.
like a couple of things. Like I have an email list. Crazy that I have an email list. I know producers who are vastly more talented than me that have no email list because they have no idea how to build an email list. But they're way, they will always be more talented than me. It's not even close. You know what I'm saying? So like there's things like it, 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 it's two things that you need. There's two things you need to really get started. Think logically. Don't follow your heart. Follow your heart in a way, but only like, don't think about it too much. Like for me, I'm following my heart. I want to do music. Bam, that's it. I, that's all I have to think about. Now let's think logically. The logical side of your brain needs to really start working. Okay, well, what do you need to do? What do you need to do? What do you need to do? Then you use focus to really drive it home and then you take action. It's use your, it, it, it's start with your heart. Like what do you want to do? What are you good at? What do you want to do? Boom, answer the question, move on. Got it? Then it's, all right, let's think logically of how to get done what I want to get done. Then let's practice our focus by having some kind of a productivity system in place to focus our freaking time so that we don't waste our time and then let's take action. That's basically the steps. And like, it's crazy that I can't even believe the way I freaking sound right now. Like, I can't even believe I'm saying these things right now. It's crazy. A year, a year, oh man, a year ago, I was not at this level mentally. I wasn't. But I honestly have to say that the biggest thing I've learned is focus. It really does take a lot of focus. And like, I, get, I think the last point that I'll make, like, I know where you're at, right? You're an artist or you're a producer most likely, but you're an artist or a producer and you really want to make money with music. I know that's where you're at, okay? Here's the deal. I've learned for me, it's really, really hard to focus on being creative if you don't have other stuff figured out. So like, because to be creative, like that's what we are, we're creative. We make beats, we write songs, we put out music, we're all about the art, we're artists, right? Even producers are artists, you're making art. That's very emotional. That's where we wanna follow our heart. When it comes to making our music, heart, 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 heart. Use your heart, use your emotions, put your emotions into your music. Business decisions, only use your brain. Don't use your heart in business decisions. That's a stupid thing to do. So. The point is, if you, we're using our emotions, right? Our emotions, our brain, our spirit, it's all connected, right? I've learned for me, it's very difficult for me to get in tune with my emotions to make music if other things aren't figured out like my body. If I don't like the way I look in the mirror or if I feel fat or if I just ate, I'll give you, if I just ate some food and I feel sick and I don't feel good, how am I supposed to get in the studio? If I don't feel good physically, if I have a headache, if I'm dehydrated, if I'm sick, if I'm unhappy with my life, right? Think about that. How am I supposed to work on music if I don't have all that other stuff figured out? See what I'm saying? So when it comes to focus, in my opinion, the first thing you gotta focus on, and I'm not gonna preach too much because I've said this so many times and I don't wanna annoy you with it. The first thing you should focus on is your body. I actually, yeah, I think you should start focusing on your body. People are probably gonna say, what about mental health, emotional health? Well, if you focus on your body, and you exercise a lot, and you start to push yourself physically, it'll fix you emotionally and mentally. That's how you do it. Because also you can meditate, right? Also you can say words of affirmation to yourself, but when you look at your body change, like I lost, I look and lost, I look at myself, I lost 30 pounds. I lost 30 freaking pounds, bro. It's crazy, I was at 191 at one point in my life. Then I was at 186, now I'm at 155. It's nuts and it's a beautiful thing and that makes me confident, it makes me happy. When I exercise twice a day, I wake up, I go exercise. When I'm done with my exercise, I'm like, yes, I'm so glad I exercised. I feel happy for the rest of the day, I'm motivated. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy. Same thing at night when I go exercise or in the afternoon, I'll go exercise again. I'm done with that, I'm like, yes bro, I exercise twice, let's freaking go. I'm pumped, I'm happy, I'm excited. When I see myself lose 30 pounds, I look at myself, I'm like, yes sir. Like. If I could do that, I can do anything. You gotta get that figured out. It helps you mentally, it helps you emotionally. Okay, that to me is the first thing, all right? So, again, to wrap it up, I wanna start sharing with you my flaws more so that you can not make those same mistakes. Like the mistakes I made, I, need to, I needed to stay more focused. If you're interested in like learning about digital marketing and all that, go learn that stuff. That stuff will help you, but don't forget, stay focused on what you need to do to get yourself to that next level, all right? Hey, if you're a rapper, you gotta go to giftedstarterpack.com and get 15 free beats. It's a no-brainer. It's literally 15 of my hottest beats for free. And I'm super excited about it. I love it because I get the chance to start working with a lot more artists 
because that's really my goal. My goal as a music producer is to give you value and to work with you. It's not just to do podcasts. It's, hey, let's make some music together, right? Let me get you, let me send you some beats. Let's get started on our working relationship. Let's make some hit records for you. And then let's use this podcast and these YouTube videos to try to get you, you know, some marketing, some mindset stuff and stuff like that, right? This is all the free stuff. Get to starterpack.com, 15 free beats. It's a no brainer. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the episode, subscribe, leave a rating, leave a review, share this with a friend, and uh, I will talk to you again tomorrow. Peace.